Good morning, beloved. My name is Dr. Colbert, and um, it's a good day. It's a very good morning here in Florida. I just want to talk to you this morning about being in perfect peace. Well, peace is possible even in stressful situations. This past week, both um, Chaplain Francis and I have been moving. Moving is very, very stressful. And you get caught up in a whole lot of things. And uh, Isaiah 26.3 promises that God will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast and stayed on him. Well, it's possible to do that in any situation. But sometimes it can be very difficult and challenging, especially when you've got things going on around you that you cannot necessarily control. It's something to realize that you have peace in God, especially when God has seen you through a whole lot of stuff. And many of us, God is still working on us. God is still working with us. And that causes us to have a sense of peace. Once again, this is not always easy to attain. Yesterday I was trying to get a car moved, a, a limo that someone had left on my property. The car is 20, no, 30 feet long. Yeah, 30 feet long. And it was very stressful because we worked the entire day and only moved it eight feet only eight feet. Near the end of the day, everyone was getting a little frustrated. And I thought about the peace that I had, even though I was being fined every day for this car being there. The county waived the fines because they decided that there was nothing I could do about it. And it wasn't because I didn't own it. It was left there. So I, I had peace about that. Uh, when I left the county office and they told me that we're waiving those fines, Dr. Colbert. Don't worry about it. We're giving you another 30-day extension. Well, that brought joy and peace at the same time. There are times when inside of varying situations, you are so calm that people can't see. How are you this calm with everything that's going on around you. Well, you have to have your mind on Christ and what Christ has done for you, what Christ continues to do for you in every single situation. And because of this, this gives you an added level of comfort and an added level of peace. So, beloved, I know it's difficult, but don't worry about the things that are going on around you because even in stressful situations, you can still have peace. Look at people who are dying. Many of them have peace to the point that I'm just ready to go. I've done everything that God has had me to do. I've prayed about this whole situation. Um, some people may have cancer and they say, well, it's terminal. I'll just have to deal with this. But for some reason, God has given them a peace that we cannot understand. All right. Now, we may not be peaceful about it, but they're peaceful about it. So I say to you, keep your heads lifted up. Don't let the anxieties of life rob your peace. Don't let the as some of us would say, the vicissitudes of life, step in and cause you to miss your blessing because you no longer have the peace that you used to have. Usually I'm a very calm person, but there are times when there's so much turmoil going on inside that I'm having to figure out where can I find peace, but it's there. So this one's rather short this morning. I know lots of you have to 
get on with the rest of your day and do what you have to do. But just think on him. Think on Jesus. Think on everything that he had to go through. Think on the peace that he exhibited on the cross. Okay? As he hung there. Uh, he had so much peace until he said, uh, Father, forgive them. They don't really know what they're doing. And, uh, you know, the one thief said uh, to him, if you're truly the son, then save yourself. You know, come down off the cross. And the other one said, you know, we deserve what we're getting. And he had a peace about it. And then Jesus said, this day shall you be with me in paradise. Won't it be great to hear those words coming from the master? This day will you be with me in paradise. There are some who, even during their course of work today, you're going to be met with some things that will challenge you and challenge the peace that you heard about this morning. But stay the course. God is still good. God is still the creator of everything. And God's son still had, has his hands on all of us. So I say to you this morning, go forth. Be that vessel that God has called you to be. And just let God order our steps. If we let God order our steps, then there's no way that we can fail. I bid you the peace of God. Shalom.